Well, we are always fascinated by yes. message in the bottle so many stories. stories about oh, that I know. Too. Right. So, you know, the idea of launching something special and secret into an ocean and a chance that a stranger far, far away might find it. I mean, that appeals to our sense of wonder. It really does. It sounds like a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tonight our own Jenny Rundovich shares this remarkable story <laughs> of how a Hagerstown woman's message to honor her mother ultimately united two families who were lost in grief. Mm. It's fitting that the ocean is what finally helped Hannah McMurray navigate life without her mom. Hers was a beach soul. Yeah, she was a force of nature. She really was. But Hannah never expected personal memories sent out to sea would find strangers who needed healing too. For our family to get it instead of someone else, to me I felt like it was just, it was meant to be. This journey begins with Gail, outspoken and adventurous. For years, mom and daughter traveled the coast together. She had what I call a magic bus. It was a VW bus, <laughs> and that's what we moved to Florida in. When Hannah eventually settled in Indiana, Gail stayed by the ocean, worked at a fishing pier in Virginia Beach. They would call mom for everything. What are the waves looking like? What, what's biting? But last summer, a sudden shift. Gail had suffered a stroke. For months after her mom's death, the heartache was nonstop. Couldn't talk about her without crying, which told me I wasn't okay. Was but that all changed. I heard two words. Dear Catherine. With inspiration from a film. I said, that's what we're doing for Gail. We're going to do a memory in a bottle. So I put a picture, her obituary, and a little bit of information, swam it out there, and, you know, said, happy adventure. For the first time, Hannah felt closure, and then, a few days later, she got a text. Hey, we found your mom's bottle. And I'm getting pictures, and they're like, our daughter found it, and how awesome is that? You know, and I just, like, I was stunned. What did you think it was at first? I thought it was from a pirate. <laughs> The bottle traveled 59 miles to the Outer Banks in North Carolina and a vacationing family from Virginia Beach. It turns out there was a bit of fate in those waves. The Schofields were in mourning, too. Because we had just lost a friend. That's exactly who came to mind. Their close friend, Kate Nixon, died in the mass shooting at the Virginia Beach Municipal Building. A disgruntled employee killed 12 people, including Kate, an engineer and mother of three. Just like Hannah, this family's grief was overwhelming, but that message in a bottle carried hope. They were like, we were so meant to find her. This was all supposed to happen. I felt like it was a little memory and memory of her um, and just inspiring for us to do something for her. We're going to put a message in there that was special to us while we were healing. So hopefully it'll find someone else and that'll help them to heal. It's about the memories. It's created memories for me, memories for these other families, and it keeps it going. In fact, two other families have since found Gail's bottle. The most recent even relaunched the message in Cabo, since Gail always wanted to travel to the tropics. Godspeed, Gail. Her next journey has just begun. Jenny Runovich, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. What a beautiful story. Wow. Just such a great story, Jenny. Thank you. Just how that connected oh, people at the gosh. right time. Yeah, wow. what a lovely mm. story. Well, uh, lovely story, sorry, but not too. lovely it's weather. Okay. I'm sorry. Just, Just a little okay. for here. It's a great story. Okay. Sorry. And we're going to probably be crying because of tomorrow's weather. <laughs> I know. Yeah, cry away. Yeah. I don't really have very good news for a Friday night, especially if you're already making plans to start your weekend.